Hello, I pray that you're all having a blessed night. I just wanted to get up on here right quick and just wanted to let you know to stay encouraged. To just stay encouraged, you know, um, just, it's not always going to be easy. Life is not going to be easy. However, I can tell you one thing. Stay in your word, stay fasting, stay praying, stay watchful, especially in this hour. A lot is going on, but God is still on the phone. God is still there. God still cares. It doesn't matter what you see to the left or to the right. Have ton of vision. Continue to be strong in love with all your might and all your power. Treat people right. Let me say that again. Treat, treat people right. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And God has not forgotten about you. I don't know who needs to hear that tonight. God has not forgotten about you. He never said it was going to be easy. He never said it was going to be a kick. However, He just said, I'll be with you. I'll hold you. I'll go with you. I'll lead you. If you trust me, do you trust me? But sometimes when things happen, you don't trust anyone, especially in today's world. But that's why you need wisdom and discernment. You need God more now than you've ever done. You're strengthening mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Life is hard sometimes. Sometimes it gets real hard. And God said, have I not commanded you to be a good courage? That's your one and eight. And if you do these commandments, and if you study my word day in and day out, day and night, then you will make your way prosperous. Sometimes we want to do it our own way, truth be told. And it doesn't always work out that way. So you have to be calm. You have to be mature. Especially in the things of God. I just want to get up on your right foot and just encourage you. I know I haven't been on here because I'm on a mission. God, sometimes, it's not sometimes, this is just reality. You're going in the valley, come out of the valley. Going in the valley, come out of the valley. But there's also shifts in your life to where God is, where you're shifting because He's trying to grow you. He's trying to grow you, Joseph. You know, I always talk about Joseph, I stayed eight years in prison for a lie. But when I think about it, and when I read it, and when I study it, God was reading his character. And even when his brothers came, he could have crushed him. He was second in command. He could have crushed him. No, he didn't do that. This is for somebody who quit trying to get what he needs. Just stop. God said, vengeance is my second in But when he did, he turned around to his brothers and looked in their eyes. He said, but you meant for evil. God will turn it to my good. I don't feel like people do, I don't feel like they say, some people could be so ugly, I get it, I get it, trust me, I get it. God will turn up in the line. Somebody write that in the comments, God will turn up in the line. God will turn them around. God will turn them around. God will turn them around. God is still in control. So God bless you, God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our souls for that is truly the way. Because the way.